What's up guys, it's your boy Junior here bringing you another video to the channel guys. So if this is the first time coming here, make sure you like all my videos, share my videos, comment all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, hit the subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Cause trust me guys, you never wanna miss out. And for all my return subscribers, go ahead and do the same stuff guys. But if you're a return subscriber, you don't have to do the last part of subscribe. But just make sure you have the bell notification enabled so you get notified as well. Alright guys, so today I'm going to do something completely different that I haven't tried in a long... I never tried this part. I did a lot of research on it and I believe that I'm going to be able to accomplish this task that I'm trying to do. So, if you're watching this video, that means it's, it was successful. And if this never, never got uploaded, then you're not even watching this part. <laughs> Anyways, so what I'm going to do today is I got this hard drive right here. This is regular two terabyte, two and a half mechanical hard drive. Regular hard drive that you find any external drive and stuff like this. This actually belongs to my cousin. It happens to be messed up. So every time we plug this in, you get a beeping sound. And from the research I've done and I've known in the past, when you hear that beeping sound, your hard drive is gone. And now you guys have been wondering, what causes the, the hard drive to beep? It's actually a very simple reason behind it. Because as you guys know, right in here, it's a disc. That's your hard drive space. It's a regular disc that like if you were putting a CD-ROM in there and it reads it reads a CD, right? So basically it's a metal disc that it's a CD-ROM if you want to think of it that way. Now, the head, which is the reader, got stuck and then go back to at its home state. So what's that when that gets stuck, that means when you plug it in and it starts beeping, it's because the drive is trying to go back into place, but it's not going back to the place. So that's the reason why this is beeping and not working. You can hear it trying to connect to the computer, but it doesn't come up on my drives, doesn't come up on my disk management, doesn't come up anywhere. There's nothing that you can hear or see that this comes up on my drive, not even a messed up drive on my thing. All you hear is it connect, trying to connect to the computer, but then this starts beeping. So when that happens, when that happens, it means that it's stuck, the head is stuck. So, I wish it was that simple that I could just say, you know what, let me open it and move the head. It really is that simple, but I can't do an open space like here. Because, all right, so when I first learned about computers growing up, I thought you couldn't open up a drive because if light got into it, it will ruin the whole drive. That's my, my thought of it. I thought it was like exposing film. Same way, if you expose film to light, it completely ruins the whole roll. I thought that's how the hard drives work, but that wasn't the case after doing some research recently. I found out the reason why you can't open up an open space because there's always dust around you. Right now, you could be breathing dust. It's very small that it doesn't hurt you, but it could hurt the hard drive. So that's why you would have to get an enclosure, a uh, clean air enclosure to open these drives up. And if you've done your research like I have, they're a lot of money. They're gonna cost anywhere from three to eight thousand dollars. Yes, you heard that. Thousands. Not hundreds, but thousands of dollars. I'm not about to make that. So after doing some research and everything, I found out some couple of people actually made their own enclosure. A budget enclosure, your know, DIY. So I'm gonna put the hard drive on the side over here because I'm not gonna use it right now. So basically, I'm going to create an enclosure using this container right here. And how are you going to create a enclosure with that? I'm going to walk you through it. So basically, what you want to create is an output where the air comes in. So let's say I create a hole on this side and the air comes in here and it's being sucked by something on this side. So you clean the air. But you gotta make sure you put a, a, a HEPA filter on this side. So the air that's coming in is, is clean air. It's just like in a car. You don't wanna run straight air to your car, to your motor because if dust, anything goes in there, it can ruin the motor 
It's the same process with these drives. So you want to put a filter, a heap of filter on this on the side over here. And then you want to be able to make a hole on this side where you can stick in a vacuum to suck the air out of here. So as it's sucking the air here and all the particles, fresh air is coming in this side. And so it's cleaning, the, making this in a clean environment. So when you work on the hard drive, you're able to seal it up and then just keep it clean on, on overall. All right. So, and then you're going to be asking, how am I going to get in here with this is closed? Well, on one of the sides, I'm going to go ahead and create an inlet, a sealed tight inlet where I can be able to put my hands in and actually work on the drive. So basically, I got this container as the enclosure. Not that big because I don't need that big of a space. Uh, it's not really, it's pretty compact compared to the, the industrial ones, but it's okay. Um, that's all we need because hard drives don't get any bigger than, you got two sets of hard drives. I bring out two hard drives. You have the three and a half, which is this one, which are pretty, pretty chunky, which still fits in this little area. And then you got the two and a half. They're a big difference. Yes, two and a half versus three and a half. I think it, it, it measures by width, I, I believe. I don't know how why they get that, but they call these three and a half, which are really chunky. And this little thing was two and a half. And I see, they both fit in here. If I wanted to work on these two drives at the same time, as you can see, I have enough space. See, and I still got room for maybe one more hard drive if I wanted to work on another hard drive at the same time. All right, so that's the reason I chose this container. I mean, if you want to go bigger, you're more than welcome to. I've seen people build these enclosures out of cardboard, but I felt that going this route would be easier. It might cost a little bit more than how I found out people making with cardboard, but this is the best way I think and more durable. All right, so basically I got the container. Couldn't find a heap of filter. It's, just, it's almost the same filter that you would use on your home. So I got this lawnmower filter from Honda that I think it'll fit perfect. I could take this, make a hole here and put this filter right here. So as the air coming in, it'll be good on this side, right? So that's, what I, that's my plan for that. And then on the other side, I'm gonna use this little contraption right here, which is a, a hose. So I can put one side here where all the air comes in and the other side on the outside that I can hook up the hose here and then suck the air out and make a hole here and then use this to close it just like this tight and make sure I have a nice tight squeeze on there. Simple as that guys. It's very simple, nothing crazy to do. So that's why I'm going to use this. Very simple. And to make sure that we have this, I'm going to use these rubber gloves to work on the thing when I make a seal tight environment in here because you don't want to touch it with your fingers. You remember, your fingers are ugly dirty and everything. So you want to make sure you got some rubber gloves to do it. And I'm also going to use another pair of these gloves to make the seal when I put my arm in because I want the seal to come into here so nothing comes in and out. All right. So you're going to watch me do the project right down here. You might not hear what I'm saying, uh, but I'll probably talk from in and out of the time and show you what I'm doing and take it from there. All right. And again, like I said, if you see this video now, that means that I uploaded and it was successful. Well, I might still upload regardless if the hard drive is not successful or not, just because this is a cool contraption you could create to create a um, air clean enclosure to work on hard drives or other stuff that requires clean air. I'm just doing this because I need to work on that little hard drive. It's a favor of my cousin. Um, he he's considered his hard drive completely dead. He said there's no luck right, but he he's told me how much stuff he has storing it that's a lot of memories that he wants to get back my brother's tattoo that he got on his arm is on that hard drive so it hurts him like he, he lost that hard drive but it also it hurts me because one of my brother's projects of his tattoo is in there because my this tattoo right here my cousin did it of course and the one my brother did got for himself his only tattoo he ever got it's that he got it through my cousin. He was the first one to go to my cousin and get a tattoo. And then I brought a couple other people to him to get tattoos. I just never got tattooed like that because never had the time to do it, you know? But I had to get this one because it's a memorial to my brother. So 
That's the reason I got this tattoo. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera down and you're gonna watch me work here and see what I'm gonna be doing. All right, let's go ahead and switch. All right, guys, so you see what I did so far. I went ahead and put the tube in there, and I put the filter on the other side, and I cut the holes for both of those areas. Um, now, I put the sealant on there. I put adhesive uh, glue on there, so it gives a proper seal on both ends, and it stays there and put it doesn't move. So I'm gonna let, let it give it some time for it to go ahead and dry up. Once it dry up, we'll come back, and we'll go ahead and cut the holes for the arms and then we'll take it from there. All right, so here I went ahead and put the hole here for the vacuum hose and I put the filter on this side. So, and I did, I, I did put some tape around it just to create a seal to make sure that it stays in there. There's nothing coming in and out from there. When I suck it and now all this is done here, and this is done here. I gotta drill the holes on this side. Well, make the holes on this side, and then I went ahead and 3D printed these little rings around here. Uh, so now, and once I 3D printed the rings, my hand fits through here. And I went ahead and put, took the gloves, made a little seal in here. So when I put my hand through here, there's a seal right here, as you see. So no dust of air can come in and out. So, and then when I want to take it off, I just go ahead and simply just take it off slowly. It'll be easier. So these are the rings that I created. So as you can see, pretty cool. Comes with a little hook on the end. So that really helps. And that's it. Now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make the holes and glue this on here and then show you afterwards. These are my little holes for where I put my hands through now. It's drying up. So now this is all sealed and everything and I'm all set to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry up and then from there, go ahead and take it from there. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished the box. I am done with it. I am very happy with it. And let me show you the progress that I've done here. All right, so this is the box right here. As you see, I got the holes right here with the rubber sealant. So when I put my hand through, it gives me a nice hand and you're, you might be wondering what did I use for the rings here. So 
on the videos that I've seen and the research I've done, people use other things to create that because they use Tupperware tops and glue it on the on the board here and then they put the gloves over it and they, they glued it down and that worked great. So I didn't have any extra Tupperware stuff like that laying around. So I was like, okay, I gotta go buy maybe a yogurt Tupperware and use it because that's what I saw the person use. One of the many people I watch doing this, they use a, a yogurt uh, container and use it. I don't have any yogurt or any used containers that I'm not using at the moment, so I couldn't use that. So I was like, okay, so I would have to go buy one and then use the container afterwards. That could take weeks before I'm even done with it. So I'm like, why am I gonna spend more money I don't need to? Look, what do I have back there? Right here, you see right here, I have a 3D printer. So what I did, I went ahead and printed these little rings on there and I glued them on with adhesive so they're on tight and they have a uh, airtight seal and I use these gloves half cut gloves here to put the seal over my hand when I use it and you might be wondering what seals do you use to do that so basically what I did I took this glove right here this is one of the gloves I have I bought a pack of gloves because I could use it for everything other thing than just this and then you cut off of the fingers I basically cut off right at the wrist Everything below the fingers, I cut off. So I cut that part out. So all you have is this. So I use this part to put it over the ring. And then and then when I put my hand through, it had, creates a seal. So just to demonstrate what I'm talking about is, I open the box. And as you see, the rings are here. So when I put my hand through, it creates a seal. And then, then I have space to work on it on the hard drive here myself with my hands. So boom, I got enough space. I touch even the other wall. So I have plenty of space to use it. So I'm gonna take this back out, which came out completely. I gotta put it back on, but it's all right. And basically that's what I did. So if I ever rip the gloves or need to replace it, it's easy to replace it, I got the CR here. So as you see the 3D printed thing, it comes with, I made it one with a lip. So I'm good to go here. So what else did I do with the box? You guys can see, I created this tube right here so I can suck out all the air. And as I'm sucking the air and everything's covered, I have this filter on this side, which will filter out all the dirty air convert to green, uh, clean. I put a tape around there as well, just to make sure that it keeps it clean and nothing from the outside that's not clean comes in. So in, in case I, I didn't miss any spots around the edges that has a hole, I'm covered there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera down and I'm gonna go work on the hard drive. After I'm done with the hard drive, then we'll go ahead and test it on the computer and see if it still works and I can recover. All right guys, so I came out here to my living room to do this project. As you see, I got the, my vacuum here, so when I put the hose right here, it's gonna suck the air out, out of here and bring air through here. And as you can see, I do have my hand inserts in here. And I do got the hard drive that I do wanna work on right here which I'm gonna place inside the box at the moment. All right, so I can work on it. And I do have the screwdriver that I need to work on the hard drive. So I'm gonna put that in there because once I'm in there, I can't do anything. And I got the, this core screw. Yes, it's a core screw to seal the hole here when I'm done sucking the air out. So everything's there. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close this up. I got it all linked up here, as you see. There you go. And I'm gonna put the hose connected to the side here like it normally would. And now I'm, sticking, I'm gonna turn the, the, the vacuum cleaner on, stick my hands in, and then turn off the, and give it a few seconds for it to suck out. And then after that, you're gonna see me work on the hard drive. All right, so let's go ahead and do that.
All right, so I stopped the air. So this is an airtight squeeze. So now I'm gonna open up the hard drive. And when you take off the cover, make sure you don't touch the disc with your hands. Even though I forgot to put gloves, put gloves on just to be safe. Which is a smaller screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back to this in a second. Alright guys, so that's how we created the air cleaner box uh, when you want to work on a hard drive so you don't get any dust in there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it worked out really well. It did everything I needed to do. I did open up the hard drive and try to mess around with it inside. Um, hopefully it's working. I, I doubt that it's working because from what I thought it would be messed up, it's actually working well the handles inside the the hard drive is actually back into its place the disc is spinning just fine so what's going on here i couldn't tell you what's going on so so at least well at least the box worked good for what it used for everything worked out good hopefully this this video did help you guys for anybody that want to create one of these or want to work on hard drives they want to be in an air clean space this is a a pretty good substitution instead of paying four to six thousand dollars on a air cleaner enclosure to work on hard drives so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you had a show today if you did go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring and we want to make sure everybody's aware of everything we do on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss a thing. Also, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so to the end of this video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe button and enable bell notification so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never ever want to miss out. And that's it for today, guys. Until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.